You played an era where we were allowed to touch people up, hand checking up the court. Somebody asked me this other day, so I'm gonna ask you: What would you average in the game today? I don't, if you went for it. That's ain't that too much. Yeah, that's okay. It, okay, if 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 I if 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 I averaged thirty, I lost the scoring title to Kobe the year he averaged thirty five. I averaged thirty three. If I was to play in this era where it's wide open, if I can average thirty three in a season, I'm gonna just take it up to forty three. I know ten points more. I agree with that. Gotta be. So I was in Shadow and Shaq, and you can clearly hear he believes he's gonna average 43 points in today's league. That's crazy. Not only because I, it's not that I don't think that Iverson is good enough of a player to average 43 points. That's not really the, the case. It's it's so weird to me that they are willing to put context into certain things that may favor them without putting context into other things that may come across as a bit more realistic. Again, not to say that Iverson couldn't do those things in today's league. You know, it's it's a faster pace, much more up tempo. It actually would favor a player like Iverson, even if he didn't shoot that many threes, just his ability to get to the basket constantly like i do think that today's game undeniably favor him but like when, when we talk about iverson like the year that he's referring to he averaged 33 points which as a sidebar people don't talk about this the, the year the year that he's referring to old 506 when he came in second he didn't lead the league in scoring but that's the most points he ever averaged this is the reason why i don't really care too much about like oh well, well, well technically speaking he has xyz amount of scoring champs like iverson actually the most points he's ever averaged in the season he didn't win a scoring champ but that doesn't take away from the fact that he did it nevertheless i Iverson that season averaged 33 points on 25 shot attempts. And albeit, like, let's, let's be clear, like, he went out there, he played 43 minutes, played 72 games, so that's very, very impressive. However, part of the reason why Iverson needed to do those things is because he was on a team where it's, like, less offensively competent. So he had no other choice, especially, like, in the early 2000s as well. He had no other choice but to attempt that many shot attempts because there weren't a good enough offensive players around him, so he had no other choice but to do those things. Which is odd to me because that's the thing that many people credit him for like even though he was inefficient it all justified him attempting those shots because he didn't have that many offensive weapons if he had more offensive weapons on his team to space out the floor which by default he would have in today's league then i don't know how you get to a, a 43 point jump i think that's kind of crazy but that's not to say that he couldn't do it i think that if he put his mind to it sure but do i think it's realistic for him to average 43 when i'm seeing james harden kobe bryant even even right now with luca and Embiid are doing right now do i think it's realistic for him to do that no I, I just don't, I just, there's just no way. I don't think that there's a way where even a coach would even systematically put him in a situation for him to average 43 points. But there's a couple of other people who view otherwise. But yeah. quickly, Rashad, would Allen Iverson average 40 in this modern NBA? Without no fucking doubt. Done them numbers. Did, my, sta did my stats. Okay. Did my stats. Mm -hmm. Allen Iverson playing against Hall of Fame centers, 96 to 2010. Incredible. He averaged 40 against all of them. Then you look at his numbers. Shot the, get, shot the ball 22 times per game. Today Today he would shoot about 25 at least. Mm -hmm. Shot 43% from the field. Seeing that they don't play no fucking defense today, he would probably shoot about 45%. Okay. Right? He only shot four threes a game. He was shooting more, obviously, in this era. Right? He made one. It was one for four. Right? So I'm giving him, if he shoot 10, he shoot 10 threes. He make three. Okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking crazy, bro. He actually thinks like what he's doing would constitute as an efficient player, but it, but it wouldn't. It just it, it literally wouldn't. Someone shooting 45% on front of the field. What he just said, 10 three pointers, three of which he made him. So that means 30% from three. That that's like you would have to like believe Iverson would have to get to the free throw line like 18 times for you to get to 43 points. What are we talking about? So that's nine points, right? He shot he shot nine free throws a game mm. back then. I think it goes up. It goes up. Up, right? Give him four more. Let's give him four, four, four more, four more from the free throw line. Yeah. What did James Harden average? Twenty-six. Jesus Christ. Okay. He said twenty-five shots. Sidebar. He has a season where he attempted twenty-five shots. He said ten three pointers. I think in his mind he believes that like when you add ten three pointers, they they just materialize somewhere. Like I don't know what like I don't know what he's thinking. But those ten threes would have to come from somewhere. As a sidebar, if Iverson shot thirty percent from three, it would actually just make more sense for him not to attempt that many threes. Like I don't like I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And then he said he finishes his career averaging nine attempts at the free throw line which is fair like he, he did that he attempts four more that means he's getting to the free throw line 13 times again in the year that i received even reference he got to the free throw line 11 and a half so just one and a half more like one or one or two and a half more times at 80 per 81 percent we're talking about him just adding another point or two when you add in the fact that he said 10 threes all three of, uh, he only makes three of them it's only 30 percent from three like bro we're, we're making a jump he has a, a season very similar to the shot diet that he just talked about
talked about, and he would not have a 10-point jump. Like, that's just not, I, I, I don't know. Like, I stick stick to, like, other things, because there's actually other re ROMs or reasons what he would actually average 43. But the stats, that's not you, my dog. Hey, Rashad, that, that's not you, dog. That's not you. Well, let me be clear. Let me also be clear. Iverson would be a, a significantly better three-point shooter now than he was back then, because he would actually attempt to shoot threes. So, no, he wouldn't be shooting three for 10 from three. I would actually think he's probably closer to 40% than three for 10 so there's that this is so crazy to believe that like somebody would attempt this many shots in today's game but whatever also he has a he has a year where he attempted 20 almost 28 shots yeah i would i would think iverson would attempt like eight nine threes uh, i think he would shoot like 38 percent from three i think he would probably get to the free throw line around 11 to 12 times i think that's probably what he would actually end up doing the reason why it wouldn't be more is because he's not driving to the lane as much because he's attempting more threes i don't know why that's a hard concept for many of you all to grasp but oh, okay and then um i think he probably actually would need to take about 25 shots the difference though is that i don't think iverson would be as bad as a finisher at the basket because obviously this is a much more wide open lane and all six iverson shot only like 55 percent at the rim he would probably shoot closer to like 60 65 he would definitely shoot better even then i don't think it constitutes for a, a 10 point jump it's just it's just hard like the the when people do these numbers i think that they think that it's like a one-on-one -on -one. i'm talking about even nba players they think it's like oh just easy I'll just I'll snap my fingers and magically I can jump up 10 more points when the truth of the matter is a schematically speaking there's just way more players in today's NBA that have the ability to not only stand in front of Iverson but also like just again scheming wise make Iverson a passer like get the ball out of his hands and make somebody else beat you also if you think that again the game is more catered offensively today than it is back then Iverson really wouldn't have a need to score 43 points so there wouldn't be a need or justification for him to attempt that many shots because he's on a more offensive leaning team again part of the reason why he attempted those many shots is because they didn't have the offensive weapons but more importantly some of y'all i just when y'all when they said like they do the same thing with jordan when they sit here and just bring up these crazy numbers for jordan i'm like brother y'all do y'all understand like what y'all are saying that someone would have to do to average xyz amount of points some of them also don't understand this is the other thing that really is funny and it blows my mind because they don't understand like the concept of like what what it means to be like efficient and why like yes threes are more than twos but not always right because if you attempt you know let's say you finish 70 percent at the rim on your twos that's actually better than shooting some threes because the only way that you will like even come close to that level of efficiency is if like you shot like what let me let me do the math real quick yeah you would have to shoot like 46 percent from from behind the arc to come close to finishing at 70 percent at the basket so if somebody is shooting like 65 66 percent at the rim then they would have to be shooting like 40 plus percent from behind the arc and if you're not then it actually makes more sense for you to attack the basket and attempt more twos they don't understand that though so since you're saying that Iverson would attempt 10 threes but only make three of them you're actually making it harder for him to get to the amount of points that he would need to get to but again they just they didn't understand that four more four more from the free throw line yeah what did James Harden average 36 36 I'm sorry James Harden average 36 36 yeah Okay. So doing those numbers. So, so, hey, no, hold on, no, B. No, no, so, hold on, B. More effective. Hold what? on, B. AI was going to be more effective. Hold on, B. Let me finish, B. Then who? James Harden. AI was going to be more effective than James Harden. Let me finish, B. <laughs> It's so, it's so crazy because I don't think they understand what they're saying when they're saying it. Because, like, okay, so now we have to go to the year where Harden... And this is, like, the funny thing. Well, I swear, like, when old heads, like, make these arguments about what somebody would do in today's game, I don't think they understand, like, what they're saying. Like, the things that you would have to do to do the things that you're claiming that someone could do doesn't really make any sense. Even when you explain it, it also doesn't make any sense. So the year that Harden averaged 36, he attempted... 13 threes, shot 37% from from the feet, from behind the yard. Mind you, this nigga McCant just sat in there and said he's going to average 30% from three. So he's actually making fewer threes than Harden would. Then even if you said he got to the free throw line two or three more times so you can get to 13, 14, 15, how many are free throws you wanted to get to, that still wouldn't make up the amount of points that is necessary for him to get to 43. Like it still doesn't. And then mind you, this means that Iverson would effectively have to not shoot shoot any mid-range jump shots at all for him to get to this point because that's effectively what Harden was doing you would have to remove all mid-range jump shots out of your game because every two-pointer that you attempt that's not as efficient as getting to the basket that's going to mean it's going to be harder for you to score to 43 or you're going to have to attempt even more shots mind you sidebar Harden this season attempted nearly 25 shots so Harden is actually almost by definition a perfect example of the type of player that they're trying to conjure up in their mind and even he didn't get to 43 points again even if you gave him more free throws even 
if you let him shoot 37% from three on 13 attempts, he still wouldn't get to, to 43. You would have to then believe in, in 2019. In 2019, he's basically shooting 60% at the basket. For Iverson to like make up the points that is necessary while on a similar shot selection, he would basically need to be shooting like almost like high 70s at the basket or at least like at bare minimum 72, 73. He would basically have to be finishing like LeBron and Giannis with like game volume and accuracy from behind the arc with all time great just free throw uh, attempts and then also free throw makes. That's what he would have to be doing. He would have to be effectively the best one, arguably the best finisher in the game, arguably the best three point shooter in the game and the best player to get to the charity stripe and also make them at a respectable rate, which I don't even think Iverson was that great of a free throw shooter. Yeah, no, he has, he finished his career shooting sub 80%. So he would actually have to become a better free throw shooter because there's never a year where Iverson attempted, he made more than 85% of his free throws. So he had to become a better free throw shooter, a, a significantly better three point shooter while still being as good as a finisher as like LeBron and Giannis. That's what he would have to do. You see how crazy that sounds? You know how many times James Harden uh, dribbled the ball? before he took every shot? Huh? Michael Jordan didn't even average 40. Huh? Let me finish, B. Michael Jordan finish? did it. Can I finish? Go ahead, go ahead, you go know, ahead. I, was, I knew go he was going to do all this. Go ahead. This is Michael Jordan. This I mean, you and Gil move the goalposts, y'all. No, it ain't. OK? How am I in this? I, I ain't. I'm just saying what, oh, you know, you, what I'm used to. Historically. So <laughs> Allen Iverson averaged 27 points a game for his career. Uh, you add two more threes, four more free throws. With 45% from the field, he's going to average at least 42. I don't think he, like, I don't think he understands when you add when you add more threes, you would have to add more shots because when you add more threes, you're basically saying some of the twos that he's attempting now are threes. You just add ten. You, he's you're adding seven more threes. So where are those seven threes coming from? If you're taking away from the other shots that he normally attempted, they have to come somewhere. Like long story short, these, these shots have to come somewhere. They don't just magically materialize. And again, James Harden has a very similar shot attempt percentages and free throw attempts that you. You were outlining, and he didn't get to 43. And he's playing 41 minutes a game. The usage rate right now is 37 total minutes per game. He's averaging 41. There's only one person in the NBA history to average 40. I hear you. I hear you saying that. because you Michael you, Jordan you, averaged 38, and you don't think... T it, <laughs> today's game. What do you think Michael Jordan would average? What do you think? Like 50. Okay, so Allen Iverson would average 40. I don't think. Nigga, what is you saying? I, I you proving so. me, pro proving me right. I, I don't. They just don't understand what they're saying. Like when I, when people throw around these numbers, I just don't think they understand what they're saying. To, like the things that you would have to do to get to these numbers, I don't think they understand what they're saying. I think so. What you talking about? I just I, I gave you think, all the stats. I, I don't think. I don't because just gave you all because the James stats. Harden never averaged forty. So like, what? He James like, Harden is like, not Allen Iverson. Like James Harden averaged thirty-five. Like he's and, not and, Allen and, Iverson. And, and, and then the way they play today, I just think his game would. He would, it would trans, like, like he would average more assists. No, he wouldn't. He's they, shooting the ball they more. Would. I see what? Oh my God. Oh my. Hey, I'm not cap. I, I made it up to like right before this. He, he, he actually would average more assists. This is the thing that really just bothers me. Again, like, the whole argument for Iverson is how much he had to do because he didn't have the offensive help. If he now has more offensive help because he's in a more offensive leaning era, why would his assists not go up? His assists would go up. There would not be, it wouldn't be necessary for him to score that many points because he's on a more offensive leaning team. His assist numbers would go up. Also, I hate this, like this narrative, like Iverson was his ball hog and I can't believe that um uh, even players go by this logic. Bro, I just for people who don't know, Iverson has years where he's averaging like seven, almost eight assists. You, the way that people talk, you would have never thought he averaged that many assists. Bro, yes, Iverson going from seven assists to nine assists isn't that crazy at all. I actually, the, the stat line I actually think Iverson would get to, Iverson will be very similar to what like Luka is doing right now where he's averaging like 30 plus points and also around like 10 assists. That's what I think Iverson will be doing. This idea that he would just go out there and just put up shots for the sake of putting up shots while being on better offensive teams is counterintuitive to the whole argument that y'all been making for the last several years now. Oh my God. God. Yes, he would average more assists. What the fuck? He's shooting the today. ball. The more. game is different today. I just told you he's shooting 10, 10 threes a game. I don't, 
first of all, what team is he? What team is he playing on? Don't today? matter. No, oh no, yeah, no, it do matter. What, what, it, what it do matter. Does it matter? It do matter. What it matter? It, it, for, it does okay. matter. Who we play for? Orlando? Who you want him to play for? Orlando. Charlotte. Orlando probably who you want to play for Charlotte? He's not averaging forty. Who you want to average? Who? Who? Listen, I love AI. You know who he was going up against? I love AI. You know who AI was going up against? I love AI, but he's not averaging. You know who AI was going up against? The top centers of all time. That's fine, but averaging forty. Yeah, I don't think. How many of y'all? How many of your era? How many of your era centers are 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 in a Hall of Fame from 2010 to now. What? How? They not in the Hall of Fame because they're still playing. What the what? Oh, what is this nigga chatting about? That's just uh, uh, Go Bear, Go Bear, Jokic, and Embiid will all three make the Hall of Fame. I know some of y'all. Like, oh, Go Bear! Oh my God, Go Bear! Never gonna shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. He, he played overseas. He's a over. He has a great, a really actually really good overseas career. He came in the NBA multiple DPOIs. Yeah, yeah, and he's probably gonna win one this year. Yes, he, he's gonna make the Hall of Fame. I know some of you all get all antsy and all upset when people give props to Rigo Bear, but yes, those three alone are gonna make the Hall of Fame. And if you're going back to 2010, then Dwight Howard is also gonna be in that conversation as well. What are you talking about? If he had, if he said this like in 2015 or something. Sure. Yeah, like, yeah, you're right. It ain't, it ain't too many sitters out there except for Dwight over the past couple of years. But saying that now, when, like, literally two of the top five players are censors, and then you even have someone like Giannis who may not be a censor, but is a rim protector, which effectively what you're referring to right now is someone who would prevent him from getting to the basket. Yes. But I still don't think that's, I think that's irrelevant. The, the, it's just a more wide open league. The fact that the power forward, that the team he would be on, the power forward would be spaced out to the three-point line. That would give him more space. That alone. And also, Iverson would be, oh, man. This is like, because I want to give Iverson all the credit in the world. Iverson would be frying centers it actually wouldn't even matter which center if you put iverson in this level of floor spacing with a center nigga picking rolls every day getting to the baja and we ain't gotta question it 2010 they average over three blocks a game i mean they wouldn't none of they them wouldn't be in the hall of fame right now yeah hey, does this, they, this, still does, playing. does this change it Allen iverson dribbled 120 uh dribbles per game averaging 31 james harden averaged 449 dribbles <laughs> Per, per game. Come on, man. He don't want to do that. He don't want to do them numbers. But to, so he don't want to so, do them so numbers. So Houston James Harden playing today. What I'm saying is he would average forty. What I'm saying is James, the Houston James Harden. You're, he's he's taking four hundred and forty nine dribbles. I don't care about that. Game. I'm getting forty. Of course you well, don't care no, about no, no, that, Brandon. About, like, like, of course talk, you don't. Hold, hold, hold you're a young nigga. You young niggas no, 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 don't process think, this think, shit. Think about what I'm process saying. Process this. This nigga didn't process math, and he's sitting here telling niggas how they don't process shit. Jesus Christ. Think about what I'm saying. Four hundred and forty-nine dribbles. Okay. So, bing, 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 bing. Okay. Averaging thirty-six. Allen Iverson thirty-one. 30 Averaging 125 dribbles. On what type which, of on what type of shooting percentage? 43. What I'm saying is 43. He's not dribbling the ball. He's getting and going and scoring. Okay. So think about how many more possessions Allen Iverson will have in today's game on, compared man. to Lucas averaging 400. And 46 dribbles. That's right. That's Allen the way that Iverson didn't dribble the ball. Get it? This is this is the part that I don't understand because Iverson would be dribbling the ball. This is where again y'all lose me. You want to use context where it matters and it benefits your argument. So Iverson is going to play the way he used to play while still also picking up a new playing style by shooting more threes in today's game. But if he were to pick up today's playing style, any coach with any sense would put the ball in his hands and have him bring the ball up and dribble way way more the reason why iverson didn't dribble the ball as much is because they wanted to say he was a shooting guard despite the fact that he was a height of a point guard if iverson played in today's game bro they he would be the point guard he would be dribbling the ball as often the way that they will organize offense would be in a way in which it would allow him to handle the ball and operate more on ball but to sit there and to utilize his old playing style while also adapting some new playing style while shooting more threes like what team would what what team is he on where that's going to happen? What team? I'm going. Foul. So he will shoot the every every possession. He will shoot the ball. Like think oh, about oh, what I'm saying is how many how many times does Allen Iverson get the ball to even have 400 dribbles? He's averaging 31 on 120 something dribbles. Now if he gets to dribble the ball 400 times, that means he's gonna be double or triple the shots attempts. I hear all that. So if he's averaging his numbers 30, go up, if he's, right? if he's averaging 31 on 120 dribbles, imagine if you gave him 400 dribbles. But he's, oh man.
man, this is so disgusting. Because they're putting these dribbles out of context. I'm pretty sure these dribbles also go from uh, when you're bringing the ball up out of bounds on the, oppo on the opposite side. I'm pretty sure these dribbles also constitute when you're waiting for a screen to be set as well. Like, the, these these dribbles, if you gave Iverson those same dribbles, all of them are not being used immediately to score. They're not. Some of these dribbles are being used to set up the offense, and Iverson will be given the responsibility to set up the offense. And I also think that, actually, I do believe teams would just blitz Iverson. They would just trap him. They would just double team him. They would just make him a passer. He's a smaller guard. They would, try, they would force him to pass the ball. That's what they would try to do. I still think he would score a lot of points, but like this logic that he's doing all these things doesn't make any sense. I don't care. He's not averaging gonna, 40. It does, I don't oh, care no, about I'll the fuck, I don't give a fuck he's about strolling. the dribbles. Strolling. Fuck strolling. the dribbles, nigga. You're just that, not that, averaging the dribbles. The dribbles. KD, KD, KD didn't even average 40. Michael Jordan don't even. You know what the dribble is? Get the fuck out of it. Like, come on, That means, that means James. Come on, no. Bro, that means James Harden is wasting dribbles, dribbling the ball. So think about it. If I'm sitting here, if I'm sitting here, doo-doo, doo-doo, Has they average 35? 33. Has that? 33. Has average 35? 33. Okay, that's not, okay. I, 33. James average 35 and what? But think of what I'm saying. He's spending. What James average? 35 what and think what? About this, if he's spending 14 seconds to dribble the ball between every possession, and he averaged 36 on, on that style, I mean, what if we said James Harden, Harden shoot today? Just six, take five uh, seconds 12, every dribble. Don't take 14 seconds on every dribble. Take five seconds on every dribble. What would he have averaged? 40 something, right? This is such a bad argument because if this this concept that like uh, this is so bad this idea that like he would just go out there and just immediately try to score every single time and the defense wouldn't adjust and force him to be a passer is ridiculous a large part in how like luca and and harden opens up their game to be a more prolific score is because they have the threat to also be a great passer as well so iverson would have to ad adopt that as well and the only way he would really be able to adopt those things is if he's on ball more this conversation is just foolish i i, I man what we're saying he's not doing that no he's not well, doing what that, i'm no. saying is if james harden again. didn't take 14 dribbles to set up and he just said all right i'm gonna get buckets he will have averaged 40 fucking Easy. four you guys are talking about dribbling i'm just talking about games yeah, well, I'm, I'm, talking about I, game I'm just talking about talking game. about games i'm just talking about james game. harden i just don't think i just don't think allen iverson will average first of all brandon. he just said 43 brandon. i don't think allen iverson is averaging 40 brandon today. that's all I don't, the way the james game is played harden the, shot game, the way the game is played he's not game. averaging 43 today 13 threes james harden shot 13 threes allen iverson shot four four Bro, we have some of the greatest scores I just today. I, I just gotta get out of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people like Rashad McCann, they just immediately think, oh, if you shoot more threes, you score more points. That's not how that works. You would have to shoot more threes with a level of proficiency that would justify you not attempting as many twos as you are in, in, in whatever era of basketball you're playing in. That's how. That's the level of three-point shooting that you would have to be shooting at. Again, if you are shooting 61% on your twos, out of all your twos that you're making, if you're making them at a clip of 61%, it would actually make more sense for you to shoot more twos than it would for you to make than it would for you to attempt more threes. To believe that Iverson, and I actually think the argument for Iverson is that he would get to the basket more often and he would be much, much more prolific at the rim, much more accurate, way more impactful at the rim, more so than anything else. But to believe that Iverson would somehow magically be able to attempt 13 threes while also being able to convert like 37, 38 of them, like hard Harden did that year is very foolish because the only players who are doing that is Harden, Dame, and, and, and Curry. That's literally it. Those are the only three that are attempting like over 10, 37, 38 plus percent or more. So you are believing that Iverson would come in this league, immediately be one of, if not arguably, the second best three-point shooter here, while also being able to finish like Giannis and LeBron, and then also get to the free throw line on par with like James Harden and well and B, while also having to be a better free throw shooter as well, so he can also score more because shooting 70 some percent at the charity strike would not also that's not enough either. This is crazy. Iverson is a great player. I think if he would, if he wanted to, he could get to like 38. I think he probably could, but it would have to be on way more shots than what these niggas is talking about to score. To, to score, matter of fact, I just want let's let's actually we can actually do this real quick. True shooting calculator. I just want people to understand what they're saying here. If you said 
43 points, and then you said he only attempts 25 shots, and then you say he got to the free throw line 14 times, calculate, he would have a true shooting of 69%. You are basically then saying that he would be literally the most efficient volume scorer the league has ever seen. That's what you would be saying. Last year, Jokic did get to 70% true shooting, but obviously the volume isn't as high as that. So for, for, the, for the argument's sake here, you believe that he would be able to get to 43 points, 25 shot attempts and 14 free throw attempts he would literally be the most efficient volume score the league has ever seen that's not iverson dog that's not iverson what i think is probably going to end up taking him is around 30 shots a game and that's probably close to what his true shooting would be iverson would have to attempt 30 shots a game 14 uh free throw attempts and he'll have a true shooting near 60 percent that's probably what it's going to have to be so again we all have these hypothetical conversations they just they sound foolish especially when you don't understand what you're saying to sit here and to say that iverson would attempt 25 shots 14 free throw attempts and still score 43 points and he would have to reach a level of efficiency that curry never reached that only Jokic has been able to eclipse and even Jokic never attempted this many shots come on come on dog what are we saying well let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and until next time i'll see you all later peace